Well, we always welcome wonderful folks to First Coast Living, and today, no exception. In fact, I got out and about. I'm the lucky one here. I'm in downtown Jacksonville at the UF Health Proton Therapy Institute, and it's just a pleasure to welcome Dr. Nancy Mendenhall. Thanks for being with us. My pleasure, Mike. Okay. Thank you. And I looked at your building, this beautiful glass building, and I, I always have questions. I know some of my neighbors do about proton therapy. We'll get to that. But first of all, a lot of excitement here. You just treated your 10,000th patient, right? We did. And what we is this, the significance of that milestone? It's got to be great. Well, you know, we've been at this for 15 years. We opened in 2006. Mm -hmm. When we opened, we were the first proton therapy facility in the entire southeastern part of the U.S. and only the fifth in the country. And so it's a new technology, and we were able to treat a lot of patients rather quickly. And now, because we've treated so many patients and we've followed them, we're beginning to learn their outcomes, which have been really good. That's so great. it's a very exciting milestone to make it to 10,000 patients. Very good. So just think about that. And all of the southeast, this, this is the center that has the most experience. You've got folks coming from all over the world as well, right? We have. In fact, uh, we've had patients from 33 different countries, patients from five different continents, from all 50 states in the U.S., and uh, that's just really exciting. It's got to make know. you feel great as a doctor. And Speaking yeah. of grades, for folks that don't know, tell us a bit more about the UF uh, Health Proton Therapy Institute. Exactly what do you do? How do you treat folks? So this is a kind of radiation therapy. So it's important to know that uh, about 60% of all cancer patients require radiation at some point in time in their treatment. And proton therapy is a special kind of radiation that is, in essence, more able to focus the radiation dose on the cancer and, and better able to avoid all the normal tissues. And so, you know, the, the challenge with radiation is to get the dose in the cancer, to get rid of it, and to keep the radiation dose out of the normal tissue so we don't cause problems. Um, and so protons uh, have much less than half of the dose to normal tissues that x-rays do. Mm -hmm. So we're expecting to see fewer side effects, fewer complications. Because we don't have to worry so much about the side effects and the complications, we're expecting to be able to increase doses and get higher tumor control rates too. So we think we will cure more patients. Uh -huh. They will have healthier lives with fewer side effects and a better quality of life. Wow, okay. All right, the change in the, it looks like the future is now as far as treating cancer patients. And, uh, let's talk about that. So this personalized treatment, what type of cancers does it treat? Well, um, we have investigated over 20 different kinds of cancers. And so we believe that protons will play a role in breast cancer, prostate cancer, lung cancer, head and neck cancer, children's cancers, lymphomas, gastrointestinal cancers, bone and soft tissue sarcomas. Let me see, what did I leave out? Eye tumors, wow. brain tumors. The whole gamut. All, and the reason is mm -hmm. that in all of these tumors, we have an opportunity to improve outcomes, either by reducing side effects and complications or by increasing cure rates. Mm -hmm. And we believe that with protons, we can accomplish one or both of those goals in all of these cancer sites. Right, so this is an option f most folks may not think of, and this certainly is a viable option, and definitely sounds like the future of cancer treatment. Is that what it is in your opinion? I think it for certain is the future of radiation therapy, mm -hmm. and I think that we're, as oncologists, looking at all kinds of new treatments, but I don't foresee a time in my lifetime or my children's lifetime where we don't need radiation for at least 60% of the cancer patients that we treat. Very interesting. Let's talk more about the treatment now. You've got 15 years of your experience treating patients. Uh, how have you seen the progression? How are those patients doing? So the patients in general are doing extremely well. Of course, we have some times when the cancer gets away from us, and of course we have some times where we cause some complications. But compared to our experience with conventional radiation, it's much less likely. 
So we believe we're seeing higher cure rates in prostate cancer. We believe we're seeing fewer side effects in children, and, pa and we know we're seeing fewer side effects in breast cancer patients and head and neck cancer patients. And we, th we think in breast cancer that's going to translate to an improved survival rate. Uh, there's been some data published recently, large databases, showing a significant reduction in, f in the secondary cancer rate after radiation. Um, with a half million patients in the National Cancer Database. So fewer second malignancies, fewer side effects, better quality of life, hopefully higher cure rates. Very good. Yes, hopefully. I'm mm -hmm. on board with you. So uh, folks, where can go so much information and a lot of it good news? Where can they go for this? Oh, our website. Oh. We have a lot of information on our website, and it tells you how to contact us. It tells you what disease diseases we're treating, what protocols we have ongoing, and a lot about how proton therapy works. So welcome to our website. All right. Thank you so much for being on our show. My pleasure. Thank you, Mike. All right. The future's bright. Keep it, it up. It is. And, of course, head to our website, firstcoastliving.net.